morning everybody welcome back to the channel so this morning it's now half five in the morning um, I'm going to see if I can photograph some Zika stags um, I'm going to Wicklow National Park which is basically the absolute mecca of Sika deer in Ireland. There's thousands upon thousands of them. Nobody really knows the estimated number of Sika in Ireland. Nobody really knows the total number of deer in Ireland. And to be honest with you, I don't think they'll ever know. There's so much Sitka spruce plantations popping up that even if, a, even if a census was to be conducted it would be inaccurate so that's where I'm going today I have I don't think you can see I have my big camera there I have my 100 to 400 um, f4 long lens that's to get you know, really good decent long range shots let's see I've also brought my binoculars as well so I can Literally, the plan is this morning is to spot from the spot from the road, and then make a plan, and then head up. See if I can get close enough. Maybe show you a few pointers along the way. How to get close to the or to wildlife to either shoot or to take pictures. So that's where I'm going. Well, here we are, right in the heart of deer country. Wicklow National Park, the home of Sika in Ireland. So it's two degrees outside, two degrees, it's fairly cold. I can see some snow on the higher slopes, especially on Lugnaquilla. Lugnaquilla is the highest peak in Leinster. I think it's 818 or something like that or seven something, anyway, it doesn't matter, it's the highest one in Leinster. But, the wind is fairly, fairly calm. The wind is going this direction, right? So my plan is, this peak, well, behind this hill, is Tone Lagee, and this wood here runs all the way back there. So my plan is to hike up here, using the wood as cover and then traversing all the way up to the top. There's usually stags here. So hopefully, hopefully we can get close enough for a decent enough picture. I have the big camera and the big lens with me this morning. So hopefully I can get myself into a decent enough position and take, take the shot. Not with the rifle, but with the camera this time. So that's the plan anyway. weapon. Fuck. 
fucking loads of deer in Wicklow National Park. And I reckon if I sit that year, I'll probably end up getting a shot with this. I suppose a tip would be if you're out scouting or if you're only new to deer stalking or wildlife photography is to take your time and maybe possibly sit and sit and look an awful lot longer than what you would be walking. That's what I'm after doing for the past 10 minutes. As you're sitting and glassing, I have my binoculars here with me. Sit and glass and look and watch. Because you'd be surprised how often you can walk across or just stumble across deer that you didn't even know they were there. And you might have been there for 10 minutes. Sometimes possibly they can be down in, you know, a gully, a re-entrant. Or just basically over the hill. And by you sitting and watching and observing, you take an awful lot more in as if you as if you were not as if you take an awful lot more in when you stop and look than you do walking. So that's my tip. Use your eyes. There's some deer moving up the hill. They're probably 500 meters in front of me. I'm going to see if I can get close to them. I don't want to be fucking crawling on the ground. To be honest, I'm not fucking shooting them. I just want a decent enough picture. But yeah, they're there. I reckon it's a hind. A hind is a female. Seek a deer. There's one running across the hill on top of the mountain. So I'm probably after stumbling across him. As I said, <laughs> you should spend more time watching than walking. But anyway, we'll see if we can get close to him. There's a hind. There's a hind and a calf just up there. Now, as you can see, the terrain in front of me is f shocking. Unless I want to, excuse me, unless I want to crawl all the way to that group of grass there to get a better shot. But to be honest with you, I'm not going to do that. There she is. See what, do, what deer will do as well. It's that they'll pop up their head, have a look. If they think something is going on. If they kind of know you're there. And then they'll put their head back down. And then pop their head back up real quick. Just to try and catch you out. That's a good tip for you. I'm just after stumbling across a group of Sika. There was a stag, a young stag. In the middle of them, I think I'm after getting a very good picture and film of them, so it was worth getting up at fucking half four, quarter to five this morning, so yeah, I'm very, very happy with that.
a two seeker popped her head up in front of me. I dropped down to get the camera out and they were gone. They don't call them the ghosts. They don't call them ghosts for no reason at all. So yeah, it's all good fun. There's a grouse after getting up in front of me as well. Be cool to capture the grouse on the, the big camera as well. So, hopefully there's a few coffees around. I'm gonna have the camera out. Handheld from now on. Not clipped in. stags just down there I'm gonna see if I can get close to him and get set up possibly on the tripod to get a really really good shot this is some crack like look at that there you have a look Nicola up there in the background covered in snow And that's Glendalock down there. Unreal. I'm after getting closer to a group of stacks. It's hard work. But it's exciting. It's very exciting. They're just below me. Probably 250 meters away. So, hopefully we'll get a good, couple of good pictures. Right. I tried to make my way closer to the group of stags. But they're on to me. They're looking up at me. They don't yet know what I am. But they're definitely clued in. So in these situations, best off just sitting tight and seeing how things pan out. Huge group of red stags, uh, not red stags, Zika stags down here. It's class. Chasing stags, unreal. See if we can shut the fuck up and get a couple more good pictures.
<laughs> I'm after getting some really, really cool pictures there of that group of stags. Probably, I don't know, maybe 200 plus, 200 plus stags. Um, full focal length, 500 millimeters. I just threw it into auto because, yeah, just didn't have time to be messing around with the um, all the settings or whatever. Um, no tripod. The footage is probably a bit, um, a bit jittery, but I don't give a shit to be honest. I had fun. Yeah, I had fun trying to sneak in on him. Um, I'm tired when you have all this shit on you. So yeah, other than that, great morning, great fun. Here's a little history lesson for you. Sika deer are not a native to Ireland. They were introduced by Lord Powers Court in 1860 into the Powers Court estate in Wicklow. A few hinds, one or two stags. And from there, that's the origination of the Sika herd in this country. They were introduced then in 1864 down in Kerry to the Mucras, Mucras estate or Mucras Abbey. And there, now today, they're in plague proportions. It's amazing how things kind of get out of hand when they're left to their own devices. People are saying introduce wolves into the country. It's not gonna happen. It'll never happen. This island is too small. That's just my personal opinion. You'll have other people saying, oh, you should introduce wolves into the country, but it's too small. If you think a wolf is going to look at a deer that can run probably as fast as himself, or look at a lamb or a sheep that's just in a pen, what would you go for? So that's just my opinion on them. But they're an incredibly elusive deer. They're incredibly hard to stalk into. They're hardy, hardy animals. They love the hill. They absolutely love the hill. They love just the ruggedness. They, they do interbreed with red deer and they are hybrids basically. In October, you can hear them. The Sika whistle, but the hybrids kind of make a kind of an elk kind of sound and noise. And they are pretty cool to stalk and pretty cool to hunt. But they do incredible amounts of damage too. Their digestive system is a lot more advanced than fallow and reds. And because of that, they can live in terrain. I won't say live, I'll say thrive in terrain like this. You wouldn't get fallow up here, it's too high up. But, and you, and you would possibly get reds. But the reds don't tend to like hardship. But I'm just after stumbling across this. This is a Sitka, a Sitka spruce, and you can see that it's absolutely chewed to bits. So all that plantation down there does have a substantial amount of damage to it, I would say. But yeah, Sika, Wicklow, Towers Court, Muckross Abbey or Muckross Estate, whatever it was, in Kerry, and Barons Court in Tyrone. They all originated from the Sika that were brought in by Lord Powers Court back in the 1860s. So that's just a little history lesson for you to keep you guys occupied and clued in. I'm literally after stumbling across. Well, I didn't stumble across, I'm following them. That group of deer that I'm after taking pictures of. And 
I'm going to make a rough estimate of the amount of stags that are there. One, two, three, four. Not to bore you, but I would suggest, or, we, or I would estimate, that the number of stags there is in excess of 300. Now, if each stag had maybe five or ten hinds, let's just say, I'm putting this is just completely out there, so that's 3,000 in this hillside alone. As I was saying, nobody knows the estimated amount of deer in Ireland, let alone Sika. They don't know any, they don't know, like, just don't know. As I was saying, census are pretty, pretty bleak because you only can count what you can see. It's absolutely astonishing. You could probably pull a figure out of your arse and say that there's probably 150, 200,000 Sika and Wicklow alone. Then again, that's again that's probably that's bullshit really because we don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna make my way back down to that car and get home and. Get myself warm. Pretty. It's fun this morning. Pretty cool. Chasing stags. I'll do it again. Guys, thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to hit that bell, if that's your type of thing, hit that bell. <laughs> I'll be notified of more videos from this guy. Me. Just doing my own thing. Enjoying my pastimes. I'm bringing you on for the spin. Thanks very much. I'll talk to you soon.